Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. Today we're going to look at how to use your nav lights effectively and how to use flares. This is a video request from one of my viewers, RastaOp98. Thank you. First we'll look at the use of cockpit navigation lights. Lighting controls found on your settings, plane controls. The keybind L is for lights on and off. Each aircraft has a variable number of settings. Generally, you want to keep the light settings as low as possible so it doesn't interfere with your night vision. Navigation lights are used around airfields and when you want to be identified. The same thing goes for landing lights. Navigation lights are very distinctive in their coloring and they tell you a lot about what that aircraft is doing by how you can see them. On the left side or port side, it's always red. On the starboard side or the right side, it's always green and the tail is always white. If you see red on the left and green on the right, then you are going in the same direction. If you can see a white light, then you're behind him. If you can see a red light on the right hand side, red right returning, he's coming back towards you. Bombers can choose to use formation lights, which help the others form up on them from behind. They vary from nation to nation and style to style. All right, so now we'll look at the key bindings for flares and then we'll look at using both identification systems during the daylight. You may have to roll back your canopy in order to fire your flare. Go to settings and weapons controls. Left control 1, 2 and 3 give you red, green and white flares respectively. And the left mouse button will fire the flare. Obviously, flares are used to attract attention, either to yourself, to a target, to an enemy, or to identify an airfield, for example. Remember that if your friends can see it, then so can the enemy. Sometimes you might fire a flare to try to psych out your opponent and make him think that you're calling for help when there is none in the area. Flares are just another communication device. Left control tilde will put your flare gun away. In this example, my partner is in trouble. He fires a flare to call for help, and now I can see where they are. He's engaged with a 109 on the deck, and I am now in a position to help. Without icons or gunfire, it's very difficult to identify friend and foe. Cuban tells me the 109 is flowing south and now turning sharply left. And this helps me plan my attack. I put a couple of 20mm rounds through his wing, which disables him enough for Cuban to shoot him down. I get credit for an assist. So don't be shy. If you want to be seen, use a combination of lights and flares. It's smart strategy. My teammate is badly damaged and flying at low altitude. He's having difficulty navigating. With the help of the flare, he can find the airfield. This badly damaged 190 failed to use lights or flares, even though he had friends in the neighborhood. And here now is a typical dogfight down on the deck. Not being in voice communication with my teammate down there, I can't tell who's who. Nor can I tell him to turn the lights on so I can identify him from the enemies and take the guy off his six. And by the time I can identify the aircraft by the tracer fire, it's too late and my guy goes into the trees. In non-combat situations, you should keep your lights on when you're on the ground, taking off or landing, and don't forget to turn them off if you're going off on a sortie. The only exception here would be if you are flying as part of a large group, in which case only the lead aircraft has the lights on and everybody forms up on him. When the lead aircraft is easily identified and everybody knows how to keep formation, then they don't need to have the lights on. Put your 
bring in gear, think, and use them when you need them. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment. Thank you guys.